Hi guys, welcome to this machine. I've um, started out testing, let's do a duff. Starting testing BTRFS and I'm definitely not an expert in it. But um, it's interesting to use it in regards together with time shift and um, grub BTRFS. So you can always go back if an update fails or something goes wrong or you want to just go back the way it used to be, you can sort of time machine it, go back in time and have a uh, version that works again with a kernel that's that's old but then uh, working, right? So going back. Now, there was a message on my system and somebody else reported the same message on the forum. What did it say? Dependency failed, monitor for new snapshots failed. So we'll see shortly the, the proper text. So I said, look, uh, if you know, tell me, right? Because it is also for me the first time I work with this BTRFS system. So that's proof that this is BTRFS. I want to make a video in about my thought process, right? So you first Google the error, right? That's the first thing we did. We Googled the error. Nothing came out of it. Then I went inside um, journal, journal CTL, right? You just go through it and I said, oh no, I'm not gonna read that. So control C. I typed it and I piped it to log, for example. And then I open it with sublime text log. And then make, that makes more sense. I typed in failed. I said, find me. And this is the actual sentence. Dependency failed for monitors for new snapshots. Well, that's that line that when we, not we, if we boot up, but if we boot down, if we, we shut down, that's the line we see. What was my next reasoning? Well, copy paste for, and then Google it. No, nothing. Then grub BTRFS path is and I said, oh yeah, we have enabled the path and it's bound to a unit. It's bound to a unit. And what was the thing that I did then? So this was my prior thing. So test, that was not it. That's not it. And that's not it. So it's not here in my sublime text. I typed in, I think, guess I was looking for system, system CTL. Yeah, I did that first, I think. First list units failed. Is there something failed? And it says nothing failed. I said, huh? How is that possible? If you give me an error message, you would assume something was failing. Now I just got a thought just now. Do we have a list path? No, no list path. We have jobs, machine socket timers, units. That's it. Okay. So what did I do then? It's always difficult to recall again, what did I do? But I went at some point in time, I went in here. Yeah, that's the first thing I did. I found the grub BDRS path and it's pointing to the path is pointing to snapshots and I said oh but we don't have that so control alt the computer system file system there is no dot snapshot so control H it would mean it's in root this is root and it would mean there is a dot file like in the config right the dot config and the dot local but it's not there and it's time shift is activated. It's on my machine. It's it's running, and it has its own way of placing things. So options would be mount. Options would be opt. And the other one would be run, and maybe user and var, right? But in run, there is time shift, and there is backup, and here it is. Time shift BTRFS. Here is my home, the copy of my home. 
well, root, eh? and this is home, this is me. And all the possible timings, daily timings and so on. So basically, this is where my backup is, not, not on the dot whatever, right? It's not there. This is not the place. Now, it never showed up. All these, well, I don't say months. Let's have a look. Last minus F. I've installed this machine March 14, so it's not that long ago. Never showed up a month, and now it did. So I don't know what update kicked it so that we got that error. Well, uh, it's not an error, it's a message, right? It's a message, but basically, yeah, must be something is wrong. So what did I do then? I think I Googled again and went for the package itself. So this is the developer. Yeah, I know what I did. I went to PAMAC, right? Always go to PAMAC. Grub, BTRFS, where is it all coming from? The package is coming from a certain person. Look at the website. So I went via PAMAC to the source. This is the source. And I went and, and read it again, right? Like a few months ago, I read it again. And it's, it does talk about the path. And I did read this and nothing happened on our machines until now. And it says, if your snapshots location aren't mounted in that place, we don't have it, you must modify grubptrfs path, a unit using this line and run that line for changes to take effect. So I'm recording because if this is the fix, I can't record it, <laughs> right? Then I can't show you at all. So I edit the full group path. So control C, I'm gonna put this guy over here. This we're gonna need later on. Control C, control C, super, control shift V. So edit full path is gonna say it wants to be pseudo. Well, and I, I looked at this and I said, Laya, that's the same as this line, right? It's the same. And I tried to find this guy, snapshots. It felt like it would be some kind of uh, server or something like that. Ah, oh, yeah, that was before I found this. <laughs> then I knew it's not the service at all. I said, okay, it's the pathway that's wrong. And this is exactly what we're gonna need. Run, time shift, backup, time shift, BTRFS, and snapshots. That's our pathway. You see, that's the same as this one. I can copy paste from here, or I can copy paste from here. Run, time shift, backup, time shift, BTRFS, snapshots. Okay, exactly the same thing without a slash it says, but I don't think that will be an issue. He'll get it. So the next thing I typed in, for example, find out the name was this. So let's have a look. What does that do? So control shift V again. And they say I would find out my path. To find out the path of dot mount unit, use that thing. I said, huh, what path? There is no path, I don't see any path. I just see a long list of all kind of mounted elements. Okay, control C, control, yeah, C is good. And then for example, time shift mounts its snapshot folder in. Use system C and this guy, control C, probably gonna need the sudo again, control shift V. Let's edit the full grub BTRS path. And then we're here. And they want us to edit this line, right? That's the line we need. Control C. So if I delete all that and then control shift V this thing, checking for typos, control X, yes, C. 
safe. Let's open that up. And that looks good. Okay, it's saved. Anything else to read? Because there was something, right? Then save and finally run systemctl re-enable path for changes to take effect. Optional if uh, is already mounted, then use start to start monitoring. Let's see. I don't know if it's mounted. So you control shift V. Re-enable group with the pass. Okay. Aha. Removed and created again. Okay. Removed and created again. Optional. No. Is already mounted. You do this. Start monitoring. You can view the changes with this thing. Okay, whoop. That's Control Shift C for you. This is Control C. This is the very first time I ever do this, right? It's fun. So Control Shift V. And yes, that's so this is the same as the cat thing. Well, showing what's in there as the other thing, the edit thing, edit and cat, right? To revert back the changes, we could. That's not what we want. So basically, I want to be able to see if it now is working and I just can't do it, I guess, in the video. But I'll just have to test it by shutting down. I just did now a re-enable. I could do a start and see what happens. Mount not found. So it's referring to a mount not found. So I guess it's still not gonna work. The status of grub Peter FS path. Dead. Now my grub knowledge is practically zero. And go all the way to the end with end. Does it give me some information? Here I try to re enable, here I try to start, but that's it. Here I've done edit full grub. I don't know if it works, guys. I don't think so doesn't feel good but i'm gonna reboot that's the only way to know uh, if that uh, solution is working all right